All right, in today's video, I'm going to show you what it means to blend data between primary and secondary data sets within a document. Coming up. All right, now today we're going to be talking about data blending. Um, and this is where I'm going to show you how to blend data from multiple data sets within a document on a single grid. So let's take a look at the screen here. I have two reports or data sets open. Uh, the one on the left is called primary one. Now remember, when you add data sets to a document, there are two types of um, settings or ways you can define them as you can define them either as a primary data set or a secondary data set. Um, so I'll, uh, well, we'll get into that, what, the, what that exactly means and how that impacts the report. Um, but for this first example, both of these data sets are going to be primary. So if you look at the grid on the left, primary one, okay, the only difference, this uses the, a filter on year. It shows all the regions, um, and it has a filter on year 2014 and 2015, right? So and it shows typical metrics, revenue, units sold, and profit, okay? Now, again, simple grid report on the right. This is called primary data set two. And the year filters for 2015 and 2016, okay? So the only year these have in common, these two data sets, is 2015, right? One, the, uh, the one on the left has an additional year for 2014. The one on the right has another year for 2016, okay? And they both show all regions. So again, simple report by region by year showing revenue, units sold. And then the one on the left also shows profit, while the one on the right shows gross revenue. So these are the data sets we've been working with. Um, now let's go ahead and add these to a document, and I'll show you how to blend data from two primary data sets. All right. Now I've opened a document here, and I've added my data sets, primary one and primary two. Now let's go ahead and make sure these are set to primary. Now we'll right-click the data set, join behavior, and we can see that primary is checked. Now let's check primary two. Let's right click the data set, go to join behavior and primary. So now both we can, we've confirmed that both of these data sets are set to primary. Um, now I've also added them to my document here on the right, primary one data set on the left and primary two data set on the right. This is just so we can compare. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna add, create a new grid and we're gonna mix data or blend data between these two data sets. So what you're going to want to do is let's write, let's add a section. So we'll come in down here and we'll right click and we'll select insert section below. So now we've got a new section to add our new grid. So let's come down up to the top, we'll go insert grid and we'll draw a grid down here on the screen. Okay, now that we've got our grid um, here, our new grid, we're going to drag year over to our data set, the year attribute. Okay, and then let's drag profit which only exists in our primary one data set. And then we'll drag gross revenue from our primary two, but you'll notice something. We cannot drag it, it does not allow us. So what you gotta do is, you gotta right click this grid, okay? And you gotta select properties, so let's do that. Properties. Then you're gonna wanna select the grid tab, and you're gonna wanna change the data source to none, okay? Click okay, and now you'll notice Come back, edit our data set. Now it allows us to mix metrics from different data sets, okay? So just make sure you do that. If it doesn't allow you to mix metrics and blend data sets, make sure you check the data source is none. Okay, so now let's go ahead and run this. So now we have profit from our primary one data source and gross revenue from our primary two data source. Okay, so let's go ahead and run this and see what we get. Okay, now, here's the results. Let me make this a little bit bigger. Okay, great. All right, so now you can see, you can see both of our data sets at the top, primary one, primary two, okay, but come down to the bottom. This is our blended data set on the bottom here, and you can see what it, do, what it does is when both data sets are set to primary, it will do what is called a compound join. Now, if you remember, and you can see by the grids at the top that to only the year 2014 exists in primary one data set and only the year 2016 exists in the primary two data set. But in our blended data set, we see all the years. 
okay? That is, that is basically, that is a compound join, right? So it will include, because both data sets are set to primary, it will include all of the rows from both the data sets, okay? But now if you'll notice, obviously it only fills in the values for the metrics that it has the, 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 the information for, right? So because profit is from our primary one data source. So you see profit for both years, 2014 and 2015. And those are indeed the years that exist on that data set. How, however, you see nothing, it's blank for 2016. That's because profit does not exist on the primary data set too. And that is where the year 2016 exists. So there is no data there for that. Now, if you come over to the gross revenue, that is the metric from our primary two data source. And as you can see, the gross revenue is populated for 2015 and 2016, which are the years that were chosen for that data source. And there's nothing for 2014. Because again, the year 2014 only exists in our primary one data source. And there is no gross revenue on that data set. Um, so hopefully this makes sense. This is what what the impact of making both data sets primary and blending them on a report. All the rows will be included and only the metrics will be populated for which there is data. All right, so now the next thing I wanna show you is what happens when you blend data from a primary and a secondary data set. Now the two data sets you see on the screen here are the examples we're gonna be using. And they all, again, they all have this, they ha each data set has all the regions but they differ on the years. So our primary data set one is the same one we used in the last example, and that is years 2014 and 2015, and a unique metric profit. Now our secondary data source we're gonna use in this example has the years 2014, 15, and 16, and the unique metric that this data set contains is on hand quantity. So now let's go ahead and take a look at what it looks like when you blend data from these two data sets within a document. All right, so here we are in the document. Now I've added our primary and secondary data sets to the document already, um, just for comparisons. Now let's go ahead and create a new grid. Actually, before we do that, let's make sure, let's set our secondary data set to secondary and make sure this is primary. So our primary data set, set to primary. And let's go ahead and check our secondary data set. And let's go ahead and set this to secondary. So now we have a primary and a secondary data set. Now let's insert a new grid in this section down here. Okay, and again, we're gonna drag our year attribute over to the grid, like we did in the last example. And now let's add um, revenue, um, actually profit from our primary data set. And now we're gonna have to set the data source to none. So we'll select grid none this is this way we can add the metric from our other data from our secondary data source okay now that we've set that to none let's go ahead and add on hand quantity so we'll drag that over great now we've got our data sets blended so we have profit from the primary data source on hand quantity from the secondary data source and year which they both have in common the only difference is the years so let's go ahead and run this and let's see what it looks like We'll go ahead and click run, and I'll dump this to PDF, and we'll take a look at what we have. All right, let's make this a little bit bigger here. Okay, now we have our data sets at the top here, but let's scroll down to our blended data source. Okay, great. So now you can see here, the only years that are visible, so our, our primary data source has 2014 and 2015. We know that. Now our secondary data source has 2014, 2015, and 2016, but the only years you see in our blended data set, our blended grid is 2014, 2015. So what this has done here is, for those of you that know SQL, think of this like a left outer join, right? In that it will grab all the rows from our primary data source, but it will only take the rows that it has in common from the secondary data source, okay? so. Our secondary data source has, has on-hand quantity for 2016, but because it was a secondary data source and our primary data source doesn't have data for the year 2016, it was not included in the grid, okay? So even though we could technically um, produce on-hand quantity for 2016, because that year was not in our primary data source, it does not display on, on the grid here. But only all of the rows from our primary data source will be, dis will be displayed here, as you can see, 2014, 2015. Okay? 
So hopefully that makes sense. All right, so now I'm gonna show you what it means to blend data from two data sets set to secondary. So secondary underscore two on the left here, that contains data for the years 2015 and 2016. Now if you notice I removed region from both of these data sets to make it easier. And the unique metric on this data set is profit. So that's a metric we'll be using in our blended data set. Now the grid on the right, secondary underscore three, that contains data sets for the years 2014 and 2015. And the unique metric we'll be using to blend is on hand quantity. Now if you notice, the only year these data sets have in common is 2015. So that's gonna be important later. So now let's go ahead and add these to a document and see what it looks like when we blend the data from these two data sets in a grid. All right, so now I went ahead and added both of these data sets to our document. Now, let's go ahead and set both of these data sets to secondary. Let's, well, let's make sure they're secondary. All right, so secondary three, yep, that's set to secondary. And the secondary underscore two data set is also set to secondary, great. Okay, now let's go ahead and add a new grid and let's blend the data between these data sets. So we'll go insert, grid. We'll draw a grid down here at the bottom. Now we'll go ahead and same as we did in the other examples, we'll add year to our data set. So we'll go ahead, oh, where did it go? All right, there we are. So we'll go ahead and drag year over. Okay, now we'll add on hand quantity from secondary underscore three. Now in order to add the other one, we'll have to go ahead and set this the properties to none data source properties to none. So right click, properties, again grid, data source set to none. Let's go ahead and edit this again. And now we can add profit from our secondary underscore two data set. Okay, great. Now let's go ahead and run this and see what the results look like. All right, so now let's take a look at our results here. So as you can see, the only row that appear on the report is for the year 2015. Now that is because when you blend data from data sets that are both set to secondary, that will do an inner join, meaning only rows that they have in common will be displayed on the blended report. Okay, so as you can see, even though we have profit for the year 2016, it was not displayed on the report because 2016 does not exist on the secondary three data set. Now, on the, other, on the contrary, even though we have on-hand quantity for 2014, because 2014 did not appear on the other secondary data source, it does not appear on the report. The only year that both of these data sources had in common is the year 2015. Therefore, that is the only year that displayed on the blended report. So again, that basically interjoins both data sets. All right, so the next thing I wanna show you is a bit of a deeper understanding um, of kind of how this works and kind of some of the things that you got to watch out for when you're blending data between data sets. So we're going to go back to our original example where we're blending two primary data sets. So that's the example I have on the screen here. Primary one underscore one is primary and primary underscore two is also set to primary as you can see. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and add a metric to our data set that they have in common. Okay, which you might be able to see here is revenue. So let's go ahead and add this to our data set, to our blended data set here. Oh, let's bring this back, okay. So we'll go ahead and we'll add revenue. Now, I added revenue, I dragged it over from primary underscore one, right? So I wanna show you something here. When, when you add a metric from a data set, okay, to a blended data set, it will automatically make that the data source. So let's leave it at that. Let's leave it at primary one. Okay, now remember, primary one has the years 2014, 2015. Primary two has 2015, 2016. Let's go ahead and run this and see what it looks like. So I wanna show you something here. And remember, they both have revenue. Okay, so here we have it. So let's look at, let's focus on the bottom, the bottom grid. Now, I added revenue. And if you, as you can see, it only displayed revenue for the years 2014 and 2015. Even though they both have the revenue metric, right? As you can see at the top, primary underscore two does have the revenue metric for the year 2016, right? All regions. But as you can see, it didn't display anything here. 
That's because the date we set the data source to primary underscore one. So although it had the, the metric in common, it still only displayed it for the years on the chosen data source. On the on the data source that's set to the on the on the data set that's set to the data source. Um, okay, so now let's go back to our grid. Okay. What all we're gonna do is we're gonna change that data source now. We'll go properties grid and now let's set this to primary two that's all we're gonna do click OK and we're gonna rerun this now look what happened now it's displaying revenue for 2015 and 2016 because that's what's on those are the years that are included on our, that are in our primary underscore two data set and that's what we set to just set the data source to so again Something you want to watch out for and be mindful of when you're blending data, okay? Especially when they when the both data sets have those metrics in common. All right. So I thought that was important to show. All right, so that'll do it. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell. And also check out jamestechtips.com for more BR related content. And thanks for watching.